Hi everybody, so I've just arrived in the northeast of China. So I'm in Heilongjiang province and here we are at the lion's mane farm. So lion's mane is one of those trickier medicinal mushrooms um, to grow and it's been really wiped out in the wild and so semi-wild crafted practices are what we, what we go for and what we do best. So you can see here, you know, outside is like right there and the reason it's grown up north here is because the temperature swings between night and day are so large so you're gonna get more adaptation coming into this medicinal mushroom because it's had to deal with so much more stressor from the environment now lion's mane is that neurological brain activating memory activating cognitive mushroom that everyone's getting such amazing results with when it comes to getting in and nourishing the gray matter the white matter um, even getting into the nerve endings and helping to repair damaged nerves it's lion's mane the one that's got like a lot of research behind it and people are getting some amazing results with it and it's just going off at the moment because it is so effective and we have so much neurodegeneration in our world having a medicinal mushroom in the tropic you know that's neuroprotective it's just couldn't have come at a better time and so what we're growing in here is 10 year old oak chips and so this isn't grain this is grown on wood chips and again it's like the closest you can get to the practice in terms of a growing practice that is um, gonna give you a wild um, wild product so the spores for these lion's mane, they aren't just gathered from, you know, these little pups here to reseed the next generation. Every, um, every series of spore seeding in these bags, in these wooden chips, comes from a, a mother mushroom from the wild. So it's wild spores going in inoculating these bags here to give us a superior product. And it's why people get such amazing results when it comes to our lion's mane. A lot of effort goes in. Even to the philosophy, just chatting here about their process of going into the wild and finding those mother mushrooms and collecting the spores. And the fact, and the, the, the farmer here was just telling me, the farmer, um, he's, uh, he's got an absolute love affair with this mushroom. It's really beautiful to get confirmation. I knew it, but you know, it's really, really beautiful to see it and feel it. He was saying in the wild, if you see one lion's mane, you're gonna, you know that in like behind that tree or in that proximity is another one because they like growing in couples. They like being in relationship, he just said. And so that's why they have them in this way, facing each other and back and onto each other nice and close. So you can keep that romance and that relationship going with this lion's mane. So beautiful stuff going on here. Um, next steps for me are to um, upgrade this plastic because it's like, it's an absolute like, you need to you need to do it in order to contain to contain the wood chips and it's not one of those mushrooms that can easily be grown on logs like others that we do so there's a gap there that i because we um super feast is going plastic free we're going to be looking for something there's a lot of um uh there's a lot of ideas swing swimming around our heads to make sure that we can get plastic out of the operation entirely and that's something i'm going to be talking about um from here so guys let me know if you've got any questions about the way that we farm lion's mane here um, basically i've just gone and harvested a bunch like so boom and you can see nice beautiful big monkey head mushroom lion's mane mushroom all that brain magic that neuro magic i brought it into the range originally to give to my mother after she had a brain injury and i've been taking it uh, for the last five years religiously and absolutely loving the results and I know you guys are loving the results as well So we're up in pristine um, Pristine northeast. I've just flown in and I just couldn't believe how mountainous um, A little like there's just no industry up here and it's the air is just like it's clean It's crisp and so you know you're getting all that wilderness going into your lion's mane. Yeah, Love it guys. So there's been a harvest of lion's mane here. Fresh, juicy, nerve nourishing, brain activating lion's mane. And it's a little bit hot in the season right now. We're not like, you know, we're heading into the winter and it's gonna get to that point where it's gonna get like down to, to zero and beyond. So at the moment, just before that drying occurs tomorrow, it's gonna go into this refrigerated little truck here and then it's gonna go out on the drying trays 
get sun dried it's a really important aspect of the the way we source medicinal mushrooms our lion's mane doesn't like a lot of sun generally it likes nice wet spaces it likes a lot of shade in order to come into full proximity but at the same time it likes those wild elements so here we do get a little bit of access to sun coming in through these tents here making sure they get some sunshine on there but then the drying process happens and so all that biological transmutation occurs through the sun drying process not as easy to do easier to use an oven or something like that but you know that's what we that's what we do to get the best we're told we're very lucky we got the absolute last of the harvest here last of it before a dry spell and a re-inoculation so counting our blessings glad we came straight from the airport to see this beautiful mushroom that's really changed my life and I know transformed a lot of other people's lives and brains and nerves. Um, you know, just on that like, you know, restless leg syndrome, people with um, nerve damage, nerve ending damage, it's been pretty special to see what happens when people get onto this mushy, especially when there's, uh, you know, post, um, you know, post stroke, um, post aneurysm, uh, neurodegeneration in the family. Now, none of this is a treatment, you know, we've got to be very responsible when you're talking about a herb, but the reality is it's a useful herb in these situations and there's a reason why it is so popular right now in the West. We're calling out for it. Our brain and our nervous systems are calling out for it. Another thing beautiful about this lion's mane is it's such a beautiful gut nourisher. You can see how um, mucilaginous, mucilaginous it would be. Maybe we can go on. Um, grab one and, and show you that but what that does is in a treatment sense they're going to be using that to treat um, treat ulcers within the gut but at the same time when you look at like you know have a look in there you can see it's like it's soft and squishy it's nice and mucilaginous there that's gut nourishing that's gut activating that's healing the lining and upgrading the lining and upgrading the actual nerve endings and nervous system within the gut a lot of neural cells within the gut that connects to the brain and gets that connection going and that's why yeah it's going to be a brain tonic it's going to be a digestive tonic at the same time so you get on lion's mane you're going to find there's going to be a lot of soothing of your gut and a lot of amping up of through it being a prebiotic for your digestive system if you or for your um, probiotics and your microbiome it's slowly going to be building up those good bacteria that help you digest and help your metabolism a really beautiful beautiful connecting unifying mushroom that lion's mane gut brain magic